is Rebecca Hubbard reporting for the Veterinary Times and we are here at London's Olympia for the second day of London Vet Show. I'm here with Simon Bolton, Marketing Manager for Verbeck, and we're to discuss what they're doing at the show this year. So, what have you been treating delegates to talking about this year? We've uh, debuted a new stand this year, um, New Look and Feel. Um, our whole um, moving forward is to, uh, we're moving into a more of a digital age obviously and we, we are um, holding on to that and moving forward with it. We are, uh, we've just launched Milpro, uh, a new uh, small animal wormer. We're using um, Lipper technology for augmented reality to help uh, increase compliance with owners through media which they're using on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, we know that things like print media, uh, media consumption through various channels is declining, but the one area where it's continuing to increase is through, is through uh, media, uh, through uh, mobile devices. Okay. So we're taking advantage of that. Uh, our Milpro uh, packaging itself comes to life when you blip it using the Blipper app. Uh, they, their owner gets access to um, properly uh, quality uh, assured post dispensing information. Mm -hmm. So they see videos on the correct way to give, uh, videos on the disease process, built in uh, worming reminder systems. So um, with Milpro, we're, we're really trying to push uh, the way that we do clients differently in a, okay. in, a, in a more interesting way. Clients traditionally can be quite a, a dry subject. So right. we're moving forward with it in a, an interesting way that the engages the, the pet owner. Okay. So we've uh, launched Milpro, we also launched Cyclamance. Um, a liquid cyclosporin, um, Buprivet, and we've also featuring Pronephra uh, on the stand as well, uh, phosphate binder from the back. So how are you showcasing this to delegates? If they come and visit you, what are they seeing? Yeah, the, our, our stand is actually um, completely blippable. So our stand wow. um, uh, is, is a cube-based design, so there's cubes on all the corners of the stands which you can rotate, and each uh, each cube is an image, and you, you blip the image, the image comes to life, um, animation, sound, and then it tells you about the products um, through various different buttons on that you can find out more. So we, um, in terms of moving forward, we're going to have this image on lots and lots of different um, literature and, and various different media. Okay. And if, uh, if a pet, if a vet, this is the vet channel, if a vet was to blip that image, it would take them through to a showcase of our current products, new launches, things like that. And it will change on a, on a, a relatively frequent basis to give them new products and new, new content. Are you finding that delegates attending your stand are quite new to this idea of Blipper and augmented reality, or are there some that are quite open to it? It's uh, it's very much one of those things that when you uh, if you talk about it, it's difficult to explain. But when you show show it physically, show it to people, they um, really engage and really get into it. And you you talk about what's blippable outside of the veterinary industry, and a lot yeah. of people aren't aware. So things like the five pound note. If you blip the five pound note, it, it, it tells you recipes for five pounds wow. and all the ingredients. Yeah. Uh, things like um, tomato ketchup comes to life, the label on the bottle. So it, it, but it is still a relatively new concept. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the feedback that we're getting is, is immensely positive because it just engages people in a, in a, in a new way yeah. um, and in, a, in an innovative way. So um, we, we're able to do quite good stats on, on what people are blipping. So although we only stopped uh, yesterday, I think, for Milk Pros, it's now at the wholesalers. Right. Um, before that, before it's gone onto the public, we know that it's been blipped. The images have been blipped three and a half thousand times already before wow. the launch. So okay. it shows that the vets are testing it, looking at it. Yeah. And, and we're not the only company to, to to be looking into this particular type of technology. Mm -hmm. um, and I think because more companies are, are dabbling in it, it's becoming more of a mainstream thing. Um, and I know a lot of uh, other industries, medical, uh, human, pharma, um, are kind of watching the team what we're doing because uh, it's obviously opens a whole new avenue of communication. Would you, if a vet was coming to your stand that was maybe sceptical of mm -hmm. this, how, what would you say to convince them that this is something they should look at? It's showing them. Um, I think they, they, the concept of it is very difficult to explain. When you show that the fact that uh, you don't have a code, you just you, you, you scan the image with your cap, with your phone, your media device, and you show it, and you see the way that it's, it, it moulds to the pack. So okay. you move the pack in the camera, and, and the image sticks to it. Right. And they see it, and they they get. I mean, they, they also get that, and I also get that it's only ever going to appeal to a set percentage of the population because not everyone has a smartphone, um, yeah. not everyone has a reception on their phone. So we, we also are, it is an avenue that goes alongside the normal, more traditional avenue. So with Milpro and with other products, we still do uh, print reminders, email reminders, text reminders, things like that. This is just an, an add-on, not, not a replacement, but an add-on. Yeah. Um, but when people see it, we've had people that, that, that straight out go, no, 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 it's a gimmick. It, 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 yeah. It's never going to work, it's a gimmick. Yeah. Um, but when you actually show it to them, people are saying, oh, actually, I take it back. It's actually quite clever. I yeah. get it. I see, I see how it can be a benefit. It. Um, and it's all really about about compliance and about about. So if you make the business case clear. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's about compliance. It's about keeping those people aware, getting them to get the, the, the reminder system, uh, and getting them to access information that they know isn't so 
something dodgy from the internet. It's okay. it's all pre you know it's all uh, approved. It, we, it's a it's a product that we we comply by NOAA guidelines. So all the information in there complies with NOAA guidelines. Yeah. So uh, it very much is uh, a safe area for them to get information. Okay. So looking forward, perhaps is there are there other applications they can see the augmented reality being used? Is it something the, you're going to go for for the next year? Yeah, I think yeah. it's something that we want to really um, uh, develop. Uh, you know, there's, there's so many products that we already know within our portfolio that would fit very nicely. Mm -hmm. um, those, uh, you know, we, when we the, all the phone calls we get with frequently asked questions, you can see where right, hey, we can stop all of this by just doing the blipper. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's it's not to replace things; it's it's an add-on. But yes, I mean, there's, there's products we already have that we are, you know, planning in the pipeline, there's new products coming through that fit, fit perfectly. So it is something we, you know, we. This is a kind of a test. Yeah. Um, so far, so good. Um, and the, all the feedback that we've got means that we will. So far, we will continue to develop it more and more. And the actual platform itself, uh, on a week by week basis, there's more things that we can do. So the whole the whole avenue is just widening. Excellent. Thank you okay. very much, Simon. No problem. Thank you.